Scorpio. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, the 27th of June to the 3rd of July, 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Visa signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross, cross watches are welcome. <laughs> I was thinking I said Venus wrong, it sounded wrong, and I was focused on that as I'm still trying to rattle off that. <laughs> I start with every video. <laughs> right, let's begin. Scorpio. Overall, Ace of Wands. Maybe an apology that's due to be given or received here with the Ace of Wands. Maybe a grudge that's being held and it is also saying to just refocus because that apology may never arrive um, and it's refocusing on what this journey is um, or where this journey is beginning and where it's heading to. Step one. Past energies, you had the Empress, Temperance, Prince of Swords feel like you're aware that in the past that you did go rushing into something here, whether that's around work, around love, around home, you did go rushing in and it may have um, upset the flow of the energy and things might have come to a standstill, a grinding halt here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but I think the main part of that is that you were aware of why something happened in the past. But you come to your present energy, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with a Virgo in the core of your reading. There is that light at the end of the tunnel from doing some soul searching, realizing um, a mistake from the past that was made there, starting to balance things out. I usually say Six of Pentacles equal give and take. If you do all the giving, someone is doing all the taking. Um, I feel more that this is actually just taking that time to do that soul searching and get this inner balance and alignment back into place. And you come out ready for a whole pretty direct approach towards something or someone, possibly around this whole new beginning that's happening with this Ace of Wands. Future energies, you have the full Four of Swords, the High Priestess. Always looking after number one. There's nothing wrong with saying, I need some space, I need some time, doing some self-healing, rejuvenation, just gathering your thoughts here. You're ready to take a leap of faith and we're going back into this kind of energy in the past where you do realize where you rushed into something that should have um, been more... Um, What's the word? Gone with the flow more with that temperance back there. But you're coming back around and it's like you're ready to take a leap of faith towards something or someone again. And you are realizing that, hold on, step back and just think this through. Where this four of swords is coming in with the fall. The high priestess, your guard is still up from what happened in the past. But um, you're very content with being aware of what's going on around you and realizing I do need to step back here and think something through carefully first. Wow, Scorpio. Let's see what the clarifications have for everything. So, starting with the Ace of Wands. You're determined to do this. <laughs> you get the full. <laughs> The world and the four of wands. You do want stability here. You do want commitment. If it's meant to be, it will be. And again, this fool is here. You're ready to jump in two feet and all and give something a go here. This may be a marriage proposal, moving in together. It may be meeting somebody extremely brand new. Could be a, a whole different job than, you, than what you've always worked at. You, know, you may be switching jobs here and in quite a... Um, Quite a dramatic fashion I'm going to say with that but um, again that world it does have your back divine timing things do happen for a reason this mistake we talked about back in the past um, where something was was rushed into back there you know lesson learns and you've realized that down here where you are taking time to step back and just think think things through here 
but you're still determined to <laughs> jump in. <laughs> right, Scorpio, you have in the past past energies the Empress. Cards are going everywhere. You have the Five of Cups, Two of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're very aware of some sort of battle that was happening in the past, whether it was towards something or someone, something that needed to be walked away from. It was causing you a great deal of sadness and grief here. Always say, don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on. It's um, done in everybody's own time, but realizing there's other in a loving energy around you, especially clarifying that Empress. And this may be what you went rushing into. Yes, it might have gone pear-shaped in the past, but again, lesson learned and being able to walk away from that kind of battle is a victory in itself. And it also allows you to refocus on what you want, where you're heading towards. Temperance. You have the Four of Cups, the Hermit, Three of Swords. Wow, could be dealing with a Virgo. You're very focused on something that broke your heart. Someone broke your heart here. Okay, it could be a third party situation, could be dealing with um, something around love, around work, around home, could be dealing with Virgo as I mentioned before with the Hermit again, but doing that soul searching, but you are very focused in the past on that heartbreak that somebody did cause from this outside interference, meddling. And you've got the Prince of Swords, with the High Priestess, Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands. Not giving up, not quitting. And I always say, well, 99% of the time, I say it's not quitting on yourself, not giving up on yourself. No matter what you've been through in the past, um, lesson learned, as we mentioned. You've got the High Priestess down here as well, but this did bring your guard straight up with whatever happened back there in the past. And there is love there, um, but I feel like you actually brought this guard up to shut shut something out in the past there to give you that time to have that breather as we mentioned so scorpio present energy six of pentacles you get the ace of wands two of swords double dose six of pentacles and i'll say equal give and take but i do feel this is more about getting yourself back into central balance alignment in here internally Okay, some confusion over a decision that needs to be made, whether you're moving forward without waiting for this apology, because this apology may never arrive. You've got the Ace of Wands overall for the, um, for the week as well. It might not ever arrive, you'll just be sitting on the fence, you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting. So there is this whole um, soul searching, contemplation, time out for yourself as we go into the, Vir um, the Virgo next, into the Hermit next. But um, it allows you to actually refocus what your new journey is going to be, where you're heading, and making a clear decision based on that. A double dose, six of pentacles, brilliant. So, the hermit. You get the ten of cups, queen of pentacles, you do get the devil there, okay? Something that you do feel stuck, bound and chained to. It's not so easy to break free from this devil energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. But being proud of how far you have actually come, even though this negative energy still niggles away in the background. Even though that's lesson learned. And I feel this is from that Three of Swords energy back there in the past, where somebody did break your heart. And it's, it's still... I don't want to say holding a grudge around this, waiting for this apology, but um, it, is still, it is still niggling away at you. Very difficult to break free from that kind of energy. Got emotional support there, might not be so obviously so, but there is also happiness here. Once you do see that light at the end of the tunnel, I feel it's, it's the first step in starting to switch gear and focus on focus on that queen of swords you have the star death nine of swords could be dealing with aquarius or another scorpio your own energy i love that death energy because it is goodbye to the past hello to the new 
um, there's been stress, there's been sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking of things even possibly, but it's now bringing it back into, um, I'm going to say coming back down to earth to be able to focus on your dreams and your wishes and where you're heading, where this journey is taking you. Wow, Scorpio. So we come to your future energies line where I said you're, you're determined to jump into something here with the fall. You get judgment, strength, seven of swords. Take strength to hold back when you do suddenly get this new focus of where you're heading and I'm not a patient person I'm kind of just like yeah I'm all in and and go for it okay but the same so keep an open mind towards where this leap of faith may actually take you give give yourself that time as we go to the four of swords to think back and um, on that lesson learned back there in the past walking away from some sort of deceptive energy here and it may be the beginning of releasing this negative energy here but um, no looking back. Take strength to pull in the reins at times. Could be dealing with Leo. So we go to the Four of Swords with the Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. There is love here, maybe an existing relationship, it may be somebody extremely brand new, but you're putting in the hard work here, you're willing to take the ups and the downs, it's a roller coaster ride, I always say nothing is ever smooth sailing, but a lot of hard work that is being put in to get things off the ground and to get things started here. Maybe new love here, but um, it all comes from doing this healing, looking after number one first, and then suddenly um, there may be somebody else on board here with you. So you finish with the High Priestess. You get the Emperor, Princess of Pentacles, Temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius or Aries. Love this, Divine Masculine Energy. Very much in control of the situation. Brave, level-headed, logical. Um, going with the flow. Rather than jumping in two feet and all, you may have pulled the reins in a bit here and slowed things down. Going with the flow. There's an offer on the table. And this high priestess we are clarifying, it may mean that you have to drop this guard just a little bit to look at what this offer does actually bring. You've got judgment back there. Keep an open mind to what this offer does actually um, present to you. Wow, I always sound like I'm lecturing too. Right, Scorpio, let's see what the universe has to say. You get the Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. There is still something that you are hanging on to here. I said it may be this waiting for this apology that might not ever arrive. And it is just saying, okay, look at some other detours. You don't need to come to a grinding halt here stalemate situation to get your stability to get your commitment it just means shifting gear here and taking a different path which may lead you to being able to release that kind of energy that you're hanging on to and to focus on this whole new chapter and this whole new journey that is about to begin here love that but it is also keeping an open mind towards where this journey is that new journey is taking you so Scorpio, let's finish with Moontology. You get the new moon in Scorpio, work through your fears. Wow, and this comes back to that past, working through your fears rather than jumping straight back in. Lecture again, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so Scorpio, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.